Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Jennifer and I post videos on here at least once a week. Right now I am sharing my pregnancy journey, bringing you guys along as well as sharing a couple of weekend videos um, and some day, day in the life videos whenever I can. So today I am going to be talking about my favorite products during pregnancy so far. I am in my third trimester and so it's been a little bit of a trip and I just wanted to share what my favorite products are and what has been working for me. All right, so let's get started. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with wardrobe and then move a little bit more towards um, other products. Now, I do not have a lot of things. I really tried my best when I first got pregnant. I had the vision in my head that I wasn't going to spend a lot of money and I really wanted to keep this pregnancy minimal um, in terms of clothes or the products that I bought and so that was my goal and I feel like I've been doing a pretty good job so far with that. So one of my favorite things has been just some plain, plain biker shorts. Um, these have been great to wear at home. So I found out I was pregnant in March um, and down here where we live, it kind of already gets warm. Uh, I did start off with some lounge wear, but if you are pregnant or if you're planning on getting pregnant, your first month or so, you may be extremely bloated. I feel like I've shared this in another video before, but sometimes I feel like my stomach was as big as how, as big as I was like four or five months it was just huge and just extremely bloated that was my experience so these biker shorts have come in handy to wear at home just to throw them on i literally have two i have four pairs but two really are the most comfortable and so i pretty much switched them back and forth um, sometimes I use one to work out, use the other ones for the week, and then just wash them. Um, because, you know, once you shower, you can put on, like, your house clothes. So this is typically my house clothes. Um, and I just pair it with either a tank top or a shirt that gives me some breathing room. Because for some reason, this area, I need, need some breathing room. All right, the next product is a bra. So I will be honest, I didn't wear this bra as much as i thought as i was going to i still like it it's very comfy i wear it at home um, it has no wire under underneath um, and typically i wear this i actually have another crop top that i also wear at home and it just doesn't have a wire it doesn't cut over here when you have a stomach like i just came from work and so i'm wearing an actual bra um, and now that the baby is moving a little bit more into my ribs, it's a little uncomfortable. And so wearing this bra at home or just on the weekend uh, or wearing my crop, I should have brought my crop for you guys. My crop top has been amazing. That crop top with those biker shorts, they will be a miracle for you. <laughs> um, and so I really did not buy any maternity bras. I just felt like my bras have been fitting perfectly. I feel like I haven't needed it. And so I, my goal was just to go along and see what I needed as time went by. And honestly, bras haven't been it. So we'll see how nursing goes at that time. But for now, this is what's been working for me. All right, the next item, I love these. Thank you, mom. Um, <laughs> Maternity pants, I have to say, are like a game changer, complete game changer. So, I mean, it is, um, I don't even know what season it is. It's summer here right now. And so having a summer pregnancy, for me at least, I don't really want to wear long pants. But at least in the beginning of my pregnancy up until June, these were amazing. And, and these are also amazing. Um, for work. I love these for work because they just cover my tummy. I could wear a really nice shirt over them and wear my flats. So yes, these hold your tummy up and it goes all the way up to here 
and so you're not pulling or tugging on anything i have another pair of work pants they are pretty similar they're kind of tight like tights but they fall a little bit on my belly and i'll show you my next item which i love that i use with those pants and yeah it's not impossible to wear pants so no worries but maternity pants i highly recommend you to get at least one or two pairs you don't need five pairs of maternity pants unless it's winter and you want different outfits then maybe you can buy three or five or whatever and rotate the rotate those uh or tights if you wear dresses all the time i don't know so these are amazing i love these they need to go in the wash right now because we just traveled so those will be washed all right my next item is this belly band so I got this at Target, similar to the bra. I got the bra at Target. I just went around Target and wanted to see what they had. And so I got that bra without the wire under. And I got this band, this belly band. So the brand here is Isabel Maternity, which I love. If you go to the maternity section, you should be, uh, you should be able to find this easily. So they have these. So it's kind of like a square. You just put it on either over the top of your head or at the bottom and you can wear your jeans or any other pants that fall and you just put this right over and it just fits it kind of holds your pants up as well as holds your belly and protects your belly um, to wear whatever pants you want so typically I wear the this with my shorts and I'll put on a nice tight like tank top and it'll flatter my body and you just leave you pretty much just leave your jeans or your shorts unbuttoned and this has like a I don't know like you call it like a little jelly thing that will hold up your pants or hold up your belly I forget now which way I use it I think yes I use it this way <clears throat> and so the bottom part holds up the pants so if you don't want to buy a lot of clothes this is your go-to and for me I got a small medium because it kind of grows with you my normal size is a medium and so this is just what fit for me they have within the packaging they have what size you should use for yourself so it's all very easy to figure out <laughs> all right so another product from isabel maternity is this dress and the dress that i am currently wearing right now these are both from target again I don't believe I spent more than $20 on them. 20, 22, 25 max maybe. And these have been my go-to. So I love the fact that they have a ribbed area over here or scrunched up, I guess I just should say. It looks a little weird at the bottom. But this is just figure hugging and you can buy your pre-maternity size which I love because now I can wear it even after maternity I don't need to buy actual maternity clothes or spend money on maternity clothes I love that you're able to wear it afterwards and that you're able to buy it again in your pre-pregnancy size so this lady or whoever it was that made these this line thank you so much because it's been a miracle changer and again i'm a medium so i bought a medium in this one and i bought a medium in the one that i have right now and i can show you guys i wore this to work and i just put a sweater over and i wore flats so both dresses go over my knees and so it doesn't look um unprofessional and i love them i've worn them to take pictures i've worn them to go out to eat I've worn them to I don't know parties <laughs> and you can just dress them up with some jewelry on and 
they've just they've just been my go-to so yeah as you can see here it has the rib part well right now my I don't know <laughs> but yeah and so it flatters your belly it flatters the back it flatters just everything I feel like clothes that are, are a little more form-fitting for me at least don't make me look super big um, and it kind of flatters my belly and so I really try to choose things that are gonna be a little bit tighter just so my belly like kind of pops all right moving on to shoes so now that I'm getting a little older as some women may know I don't know about your experience but my feet are getting tired and I feel like I need a little bit more support now I am not the biggest fan of Birkenstocks I'm not gonna lie maybe I haven't found the shoe that I really love from them but I just don't love the look and it's not my kind of thing I know that there are other websites out there I completely forgot what it was called but there are other websites that are making a little bit more flattering shoes with support and so just make sure that you're looking carefully i of course went on to target.com and <laughs> found these so these have been very comfy for me and yet for me i feel like they're still pretty flattering and they have a little bit more of a what do you call it not heel just support pretty much and that was very important to me like i said the cute flat sandals are so cute and i love them and i lived in miami for many years and i love 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 sandals but flat being that they're flat they're just no longer working for me uh so here's the other shoe that i bought and again this is from target so this has also like a little bit more cushion than not i just made sure to read the reviews and see what people were saying about comfort and that's how i went on about buying them i also again didn't want to buy a hundred pairs of shoes and so <laughs> those were the two that i chose okay moving on to products so two things I've been really loving are my belly butter and my belly oil. So my belly button, my belly button, my belly button is coming out actually. <laughs> and I love this belly butter. It is pure and organic, organic shea and cocoa butter. I feel like I've shared this one with you all before. This actually came in one of the boxes that my sisters sent me. And so it looks like a lotion. You can even just use cocoa butter or shea butter. I don't know. Uh, so I use this at night and it comes out like a lotion. But then it, once you rub it in, it comes, it becomes like a, like an oil almost. So it's very clear. And I just love how it makes my belly feel. It's nice and moisturized. I smell good at night. I completely, I just love it. And then I have this belly oil and it's a stretch mark soothing serum. Uh, this one contains sunflower oil, grapeseed oil, jojoba oil, camellia oil, and rosehip oil. And they're all organic. And this one I bought from curlbible.com. Um, of course, once you are pregnant and you start either posting or searching things, of course, things come up on Instagram. And that's how I found that. And I love, I love the smell. I actually use this one in the morning because I don't really use perfume. So I put it on my belly and then I try to put a little bit on my arms and on my neck so I smell good and again it's just been nice it it's not super greasy neither are super greasy but i do let my belly soak it in while i do my makeup 
or um, before I put my pajamas on. I do it right out of the shower, put it on, slather it. I put it on my belly, my breast, um, my butt, my hips, my thighs, just a little bit everywhere. Um, and pray that it works. Uh, I don't know what postpartum is gonna look like or what my stomach is gonna look like, but once your belly starts growing, like you'll find yourself <laughs> scratching a little. And so at least it keeps the belly hydrated and keeps you from really scratching and getting in there. Another product I've been using is uh, Bare Minerals Foundation. So anything that you use on your body, on your skin, on any part of your body um, is most likely going to get into you and possibly get into the baby from what I read. And so I tried my best to be as clean as I can as I could. I'm not gonna lie and say that I've changed every makeup product. This has been an ongoing journey for me. As you can see, my hair is actually now natural. And so I've been natural since last year, February, March, whenever COVID started. I'm lying, December. December 2019 was the last time I put any product in my hair. And so I've just been on this journey of using more natural products and it started with hair products, moved on to deodorant and eventually um, makeup, which I started doing when I got pregnant and I feel like I need to do a better job, but I have been using Bare Minerals Foundation at least because I use it on the majority of my face and so any toxic chemicals or anything are hopefully not getting into my skin using this a little bit more or better brand of makeup. So I highly recommend to try to clean up your products when you're pregnant, including lotions and any hair products or nail products that you're using just so you know aiming to keep the baby safe but also yourself as well um, yeah so that's it for those products my final last product is my body pillow so or my pregnancy pillow so my mom again I feel like a little like spoiled brat <laughs> mom buys me everything thank you mom um but yes she bought me this pillow i believe she bought it pretty early on i have to say we were not the best of friends at first because it was like too high on my head and i just didn't know what to do i just wanted to continue sleeping how i wanted to sleep now i feel like you can sleep on your stomach until you're about 20, 20 something weeks. And then after that, it gets a little uncomfortable. You need support on your back. You need support in the front. You need support for your knees. You need support for your legs and for your feet. And so we are now best friends. I don't always lay my head on it, but I definitely wrap it around my legs. And there are some days where I completely ball up in it like a little worm and it's like the coziest thing ever so I recommend definitely get one of these um, very helpful and if not you can also just get a ton of pillows put one on your head put one behind you put one in front of you and then put one in between your feet it's gonna be the most amazing sleep you've ever had in your life um, but as baby gets bigger, you do want a little bit more support to kind of keep you on your side. And so I feel like the body pillow has pretty much, it's helped me and it just keeps me cozy and warm. My husband hates it and is kind of jealous that <laughs> I am like all over it. And it's kind of in the way in between us but it's only for a few months um so he, i think he's willing to compromise for now you yeah. know all right guys so those are all my products that i wanted to share with you again it's they're very minimal 
things. They are what I have been using and I haven't really bought anything else. Um, I can't wait to share some postpartum products with you all um, as well as share some postpartum products that I'm using for the baby. And yeah, I hope you like this video. Please comment below. Let me know what you're using. Let me know what works for you, what doesn't work for you. If you have any sites to share in terms of shoes or maternity clothes that you use or like your top five must-haves while you're pregnant that truly, truly worked for you. I would love to hear that, hear that and yeah, let me know. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing and I will see you in the next one. Bye!